Bright, dynamic and fiery, this dance is performed to special music. You hear the track, you feel something, the music makes you feel and want to move. On the basis of that and your muscle memory, the dance is born. The heroes of today's episode will tell you about one of the most stylish, original and interesting dances of today. Hello, guys. Hello. What are your names and what are you going to tell us today? My name is Yevhen, a.k.a. Khmel. My name is Anastasia. Alexander Kravitz, a.k.a. Bada Boom. We're going to talk about house dance today, this field of dance and culture in general. House dance is a form of dance that is performed to house music. It's very logical. So first I'd like to tell you what house music is and how it appeared. Here's how it was. When Chicago DJs invented the drum machine in the middle late 1980s, they combined it with disco and funk music. They came up with that music, but it still had no name. They started playing it in clubs. They also had their own club called Warehouse. And that's where they play their music. Many went to parties and danced to it. They liked it. Basically, the music itself was born in Chicago, but not the dance culture. People just danced there like at any other party. After that, DJs came to New York, because the dance and party movement was even better developed there. There were very many street dancers, freestylers in New York at that time. Breakdance and hip-hop was already very well developed there, and freestyle dance was catching up. So the DJs moved to New York, and that's where the dance culture appeared. How did it appear? Dancers of different styles listened to the music. And did what they already knew, but with different feelings. It is dance to house music. According to dancing principles, it is close to hip hop and any other freestyle dances, because there are no hard limitations. The only condition is that you must feel the music. House dance differs slightly in different parts of the planet because of the source material. Every nation has unique ethnic features. Brazilian dance samba or capoeira, Ukrainians dance folk dances, and the mentality also has its influence. In essence, house and any other street style is a style of self-expression. There are no hard limitations in these styles. You feel the music, you know some basic moves, the so-called foundation that this style is built on. And then you do whatever you feel like doing. I started practicing street dances about 20 years ago, back when I was in school, but I knew and understood nothing back then. I just saw a guy spinning on his head in a music video and wanted to do the same. I started with break dancing and hip-hop at the same time. My friends and I were into that. I went to discos with my school friends, we danced as best we could there. We were good at some things, at others not so much. We could repeat one single move the whole evening. At a later point in my life, I realized I realized that I wanted to do just that. I wanted to connect my life with dancing in particular. Gradually, with the advent of the Internet and communication with representatives of the culture, I started making sense of it thanks to music. Hip-hop and later on house music is the music that makes me feel special. I think a lot of girls dance house. It is not a purely male culture. They are both male and female dancers. I think it's pretty cool when there are a few female inserts in house dance. I like the music of this style. And, to be honest, I like the fact that it's a fairly difficult dance, because you need to work hard and be fast on working with your legs.
I've been dancing for many years now. I've been dancing house since I was about 14 to 15. I discovered this dance, this culture. Well, I'm still learning new things about the culture. I learn more and more with every year. But generally speaking, I've been dancing since I was five. I started with ballroom dancing. I always wanted to dance something modern. But since my mother was a ballroom dancer, she took me to ballroom dance classes at the start. Then I did hip-hop, jazz funk, and now I'm trying to develop in different areas, although I still prefer house dance. I've been dancing for about 10 years now. I started with hip-hop, but then there was also such a style as house in the studio I used to go to in Dnipropetrovsk. Our trainer showed it us, and I repeated after him because I had to, but I didn't feel it all that well. I watched videos of it, and I didn't like it at all. If you remember, there was jump style, which was kind of weird, so it reminded me of jump style. Later, when I started practicing house dance, during classes, because I had no choice instead of just hip-hop, I saw what others liked about it. And started enjoying the music, because I hadn't listened to it before. And I liked how my legs worked, how they felt. Over the years, I noticed that when I start dancing house, it's much easier for me to get into this state. I hear the music, enter a state of trance, so to speak, and become comfortable fairly quickly. The coolest and the truest, as we say, dances are those that are born in the moment. You hear the music, you feel something, and you express your feelings with what moves you know. There are basic movements, techniques, certain principles and concepts of house dance. But the most important thing that sets it apart from studio dances is that ideally no one plans what they're really going to do. The difficulty in learning this dance depends on the initial parameters. Some people are more capable, some less, but speaking from experience, I've been teaching for 15 years. Those who really want to learn can do it. It was hard before, and it still is now, to disengage from the opinions of other people, to remain true to yourself, and remember that you are doing this because you enjoy it. I went to master classes at first to learn new moves and variations. With time, I watched more battle videos. I didn't go abroad to dance events all that much, but I watched quite a lot of videos. I try to go to classes that my friends hold. Tuchmel, Bada Boom and I filmed a dance video recently. We need to share experience and information. I practiced a lot when I was a teenager, but as time passed, I needed to make money, right? So I went a bit commercial. It is also a certain stage of my life, and I'm glad that it happened this way. I passed the auditions for Dmitro Monatic, and I've been his backup dancer for five years now. That's when, in addition to tours, I train to improve my own dance level. At some point, I think I just didn't have enough time for development to attend classes with other people every day. That was probably my biggest difficulty at that particular stage of my life. It was hard to catch the rhythm. I'm a teacher myself now, and I can see myself in my students. The hardest part is following the rhythm. 
is because you've got all these thoughts rushing around in your head like in some hadron collider and you can't just calm them down and put them into dancing. You want to do many moves at once, it comes out as one big pile, but there is nothing specific there. The trainer showed us moves. We practice sets or individual pieces, a basic step, then it's upgrade or, how we call it, a variation. I practiced all that, came to classes earlier than many of the others, and trained while others waited for the classes to begin. I asked the trainer to put on some music, and I danced before the classes began. I dance at home all the time, and many dancers will agree with me here. You dance like a god at home. It's your comfort zone, where no one else bothers you. And if there is nobody at home, you can put on some music and come up with unbelievable things. If I were to repeat all the things I did at home at some world festival, I would have definitely won easily. Just half joking, half not. I'm inspired by many things, starting from dances and ending with the biographies of athletes. I'm impressed by anyone who does what they love with passion. That can be anyone. A chef who does his job so well that you know he's right where he wants to be just from looking at him. All the people who have found their own place inspire me to do what I do even better. I always get inspiration from music. When I'm driving, I either listen to the radio or follow some new releases. So when I hear a track and it inspires me, I want to dance something to it. I also try to attend dance events. This year I've been to the House Dance Festival in Amsterdam, and it inspired the hell out of me. I think two things inspire me the most – going to competitions, especially abroad, and talking with people. And they don't necessarily have to be dancers, they can be anyone. The most important thing is knowing how to look for it. I often hear dancers say, I have no inspiration, and that's strange, and they wait for it to come. But if they just sit there and wait for inspiration, it won't appear out of nowhere. I think that professionals will look for inspiration themselves. There are all kinds of house dance and hip-hop competitions, both good and bad. What you need to do is attend them, take a look, have a listen, take part, experience them, then filter them, and only go to the good ones, avoid the bad. I won't name any because that depends on your taste. Some might like what I like, others might not. What do competitions bring? Primarily inspiration through communication with other dancers and self-expression through the attention of the audience. To be honest, there have been many competitions in the space of 10 years, more than I can count in Ukraine alone. As for those that I consider not bad, we've been abroad at auditions in Italy. There is a world competition Juste Debut that's held in Paris. They recently began organizing auditions on different continents among other places in Thailand, possibly England, maybe Russia, Italy. That's where we passed the audition, which is great, because there were a lot of dancers, and passing auditions abroad is always somewhat hard and worrying. What do you think? Is there a community of Ukrainian house dance fans? I think there is a certain crowd that follows the development of the culture and individual characters within the culture. Do you keep in touch with European schools? Are you friends with any dancers abroad? I follow European schools and keep in touch with some European dancers, which, in my opinion, is very important for dancers. What do you think of the future of house dance in Ukraine? I think it will only be a positive thing if even more house dance events and parties are held. Electronic dance music is popular at the moment, so it can only be positive and thanks to this interview as well. It was nice meeting you guys, likewise.
присоединяйтесь к хаусу. Join the house culture. It was nice talking. Bye, y'all. Peace.